Need to stay ahead of them. Prep for Rexville. Or not. <sighs> They gone? Yeah, I think so. What are they? I think, actually, I don't know. Let's just go. Okay, up for crossing the rooftops? See that pillar over there? There's a station right by it. Shall we mosey on over? Let's. So, what's next for you? A little bit of bodyguard work. <laughs> right. After that, it's back to the Sector 7 slums. You know how to get there? Yep. Of course you do. That suit from earlier. He was one of Shinra's Turks. What's a Turk want with you? Dunno. Hey, don't Turks keep an eye out for potential soldiers and stuff? They do more than just scout for candidates. Turks get called in to handle all kinds of situations, with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Professional bad guys. Gotta love them. Back to my question. So what's he to you? Looked like you knew each other. Maybe he thought I could be the greatest soldier yet. Forget it. Hmm? You mad? Before. Be surprised if you had. It's honestly kind of exciting. Well, first time and all. the words of a soldier candidate? So petty. So, does no one live in these buildings? Nope. No one to get mad if we make noise. Looks kinda rusty. I'll go first. It's pretty old. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> Easy now. You worry too much. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. Shit. Whew. That was unexpected. Thank you, Cloud. Ah, there it is. The wall. You know, I thought about leaving once, but in the end, I couldn't. Too dangerous? Too much. A whole world bursting with life. Maybe more than I can handle, I think, sometimes. Even now. People hate the steel sky, the slums, but I don't. How could I? All that passion, all those dreams. Flowing and blending together into something greater. This time I'll go first. After all, I can't count on you to wait. 
Sure about this? See for yourself. Hmm. Maybe I'll go on ahead and leave you all by your lonesome. Just... <gasps> Maybe you shouldn't talk. Then you talk. Tell me a story. Not for free. Cheapskate. You're... <gasps> Gotcha. You're killing me here. <laughs> here goes nothing. Good? <laughs> of course. My hero. Never a dull moment with you. That a compliment? Uh, <laughs> not really. <laughs> Thanks anyway. We're getting closer to the station. Even so, we'll probably run into a few monsters on the way. Huh. There's a face that screams, so what? Eh, I fought scarier things in my sleep. Try to stay behind me. That way, I can your back. So, Cloud. You don't know the slums that well, do you? Compared to you? No. Training grounds, barracks, battlefields. That's the world I know. <laughs> you sound proud of that. <laughs> stations there. I can see that. Oh? Thought the world you knew didn't include stations. Ha ha. believe this is happening if you would all just please calm down hey what the hell's going on come on there's no need to shout popular place yeah well it's got a good view of the reactor it's on fire in a show they know that they're worried oh didn't expect to see you here huh Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me? For you? Don't know. Don't care. Then, let's stick to the back streets? Ah. There will be monsters. Better than Shinra. There's a Shinra dump site up ahead. Not the kind of place anyone would ever choose to hang around in. But a great place to lay low. Good news. <laughs> That's that. 
good night. No telling where they'll come from. Monsters instinctively target weaker prey. Over here. That didn't work. Maybe it's broken? Pretty sure this Papyron loops around too, so... Hmm, wonder if we can move this. for the stronger prey. There, check it out. The heart of the slums. Off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? Nah. Me? I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. Don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Was never in doubt. Doesn't want to open, does it? Maybe there's a way to get over it? For you, at least.
I knew you'd find a way. Yes, we're home free. No need for thanks. I'd rather get paid. Hmm? You're getting paid right now. Hmm? Huh? Oh. Should be able to relax a little now. Don't forget about the Turks. Ah. Could come at us any time. Keep an eye out. So, do you think this means another? The Sector Five slums are right there. What are they watching? Uh, hey. Hey, hey. Uh, I made a first. According to officials who are involved with the ongoing oh. investigation, what could I'm they standing inside the gun shell of Mako Reactor 5. They're working for Wu Tai, isn't it obvious? There's still a lot of smoke no, rising from the Using spies so they don't have to While break fallen the beams and other debris continue to hinder you. rescue Those efforts, the fires are trying to start been another war. Extinguished. So if we help catch the bombers, ah, we get over there. Or something? Uh, That's the director Never of Shinra's Advanced yeah. Weaponry Division, isn't hey, it? Hey, enough of that doom and gloom. Would you mind answering a few questions? They're targeting reactors. Uh, can you give no us any updates on the status of the reactor? What kind so of damage are the did it suffer in the explosion? Are we in any danger? <sighs> Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation. But we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Okay, time's up! Alright, let's go. If I have to, I'm prepared to fight again. We need to stand up and fight against anyone who tries to destroy our way of life. Aw, oh, what timing? Mind lending me a hand? Place is really hopping, huh? Nice side effect of the train situation. So, what do you say? I'd love to, but... I help out every now and then. It's fun. Eris! Well, well. What are you doing all the way up there? Was trying to get a look at the reactor. Who's this guy? This is Cloud. He's a mercenary. And currently my bodyguard. That's Oats. See you. Two peas in a pod. What are you guys up to? We all went to see the reactor. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. Well, guess we have a new destination. I should probably explain. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Aerith, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together. Why, hello, Aerith. As popular as ever, I see. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. You've helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? Hmm. Maybe. Since I'm so generous, I gather medicinal herbs for his patients sometimes. Yep. Here's the leaf house. I want to grow up and be just like Jesse. There you 
you are. We're back! And we brought Aerith with us! Sorry to make you come out here. Don't be. It's on my way home. Well then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. How many? All you can carry. What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will, and I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. As tall as the sky. I love to study. So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm... What? Thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> well, anyway. My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. There you go. That's my house. It's amazing. <laughs> Been up to no good? Rude came by. So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. <laughs> or was my job. Yep, thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. <laughs> Then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the Leaf House. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way, do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. <sighs> that Aerith, she's a handful, isn't she? It must be tough. No, never mind.
you take this one? Huh? Um, take it. Uh, uh, hmm. uh. Right. Off we go. <laughs> and these right here are my babies. Which ones do you think we should pick? Any of them. Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. Whoa, foxtails, huh? I gotta hand it to you. I never would have thought of that. It'll definitely take them by surprise. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? That's the one I gave you. Huh, it is? Nice try, mister. You can't fool me. She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? Good eye. People used to give these to declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? need to hurry. We're not under the gun or anything. I'm not cut out for this crap. Sure you are. And when you're done, you'll be drowning in job offers. So, how do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. I love to study. Come on! I want to climb up there. No. It's much too dangerous. But I'm scared of the doggy. 
That's what's called easy money. We even got to be on TV. Man, the hinges on my front door. Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about what Come happened. on, I know this place is off limits to grown-ups, but if we want to rescue them, well, we gotta break the rules. Come to help. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. But there are monsters out there. Don't worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. This way. Be careful. <sighs> Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. I just need to find them. <laughs> Nothing to it. Seriously. Enough. Good night. Try to stay behind me. That way I can cover your back. Yes. It's over. That's that. Is that it? You sure you want to fight? It's over. That's that. Quickly, we gotta save them. All right. Soldier. He was? Did you go fight in the war? I might have. Now 
leave this to me. I don't think so. So long. <laughs> Enough. Let's go. I'll grow up to be a soldier like you. You can't just grow up to be a soldier. You gotta work at it. Cloud thinks I'm good enough to be one, right? Look at you, Mr. Popular. That was so cool, you guys. Especially that boom. Yeah. Yeah. It was really cool and you went like, yeah, yeah. You got it all wrong. Like that. No way. It was way faster than that. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Fine. Then how about... Isn't that right, Cloud? Isn't that right, Cloud? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Tifa, wait! Tifa! Tifa! Tifa. Tifa? <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. But she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain. I see. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. Similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Who knows? Come to think. <laughs> the reunion. Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. Oh, then you must be from the legendary. The My legendary. dad told me that that man. He used to be a soldier when he was younger. Hey, Cloud. I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry. I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. for you today. Got what you need to stay safe? 
confirmed that terrorists were coordinating the target. Terrorists, drop by. <laughs> No. Aerith, you're back! Come, look what we've done with the flowers! Lovely, don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking towards your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to get rough! Shit! Stay back! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you had enough yet? No, I don't believe that I have. Can. Please, just leave us alone. You know I can't do that. I'm sure you're having the time of your life, but we're needed on standby for a job or something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. 
Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <sighs> hmm. Don't want to overstay my welcome. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. And I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. <sighs> Please don't let her hear me again. Jerk! I thought I told you not to leave your room. Now get back in there. Okay. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. Oh. Well, look who it is. Talk
talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> Cloud? Is something wrong? It's nothing. <sighs> you can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident, and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in. So there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well? It took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Come on! That's that. <laughs> You're dead. Glad <laughs> that's over. What's that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh... Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. <sighs> I wonder if we can use this.
It's this way. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Keep on trucking. Mm. Stop. Did we wake it up? Enough. Oh, that's weird. There used to be a way through here. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? <laughs> Looks like a dead end.
I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? to be so tough. Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we. Whoa, 
Not too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Compromise. Composite. I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you oh, when somebody else. We haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. Due <laughs> <laughs> recompense, due recompense, due recompense. Due recompense? Uh, no shit, for brains. Due recompense. It's like, uh, uh it's like, uh, 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 damages. Uh, I think we've heard enough. It's over. Okay, guys, whatever you do, don't move. Don't look. Just don't look. I'm dead. I'm super dead. Don't leave me, I'm coming! Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? It is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. No. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm, got it?
well? Sure did. Uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? Hold it right there! That's right. <laughs> we made it! Smell the fresh air? The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! time ago I used to sell flowers here oh yeah <clears throat> so cloud you were a soldier first class right yeah Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. <sighs> 